I'm needing this today, guys. This and about 20 of these. I'm telling you guys, I don't drink much. I'm not someone that drinks like during the week, obviously. And for me, it's mostly um, kind of watching my weight and trying to lose weight. Is I would love to have a glass of wine every night, um, like some people. And I think it, I know it has health benefits long term, whatever. But bottom line is, when you're trying to concentrate on fat loss, you've got to watch every little thing. So obviously, for that reason, and also, I've just never really been that kind of person. Not that I'm making a judgment on anybody. I feel like I have to clarify everything today. Um, but I've just never been the kind of person that's like, has a drink every day. But anyway, the, the times that I do drink, it doesn't take much to get me tipsy. And then the other thing is, I, the next day, I'm just, I, I just can't do what I did when I was younger. I think about the amount of alcohol that I used to put away when I was younger and how I just bounce right back. And like, today, I'm just, literally, it's like walking through quicksand. I'm so, like, so tired. We were up until like three in the morning. I say that not to show off. I say that for, I'm too old for that stuff. I mean, I'm just like so tired. And the worst part about it is that even if I go to bed early or bed late like that, I still wake up early. Granted, I slept in, I think until like 8.30, but you know, some people can, can get in late like that and then they'll sleep in until like 11 or 12 or whatever and make up for it. It's not the way my DNA works, sadly. But anyway, I had stuff to do, I had to go, um, change the cars back, um, get my little Fiesta back. Remember we took her to the car show, so we had to do a little switcheroo. Um, and a bunch of stuff today, so. Um, I did want to tell you guys, I really was disappointed in myself yesterday because I did not squeeze in my workout before the party. Um, I'm one of these people that's like a perfectionist, and I want my parties to be perfect. I want enough food for everybody, enough drinks so that nobody comes and doesn't have what they want and I, I went out and got all this stuff and then I was setting it all up and I planned perfectly so that I could do everything and I just ended up not being able to have time and um, so I'm really bummed about that but sometimes you have to give yourself a break. It's just that, you know, you can't just keep giving yourself a break because if you keep doing stuff like that, like I've been telling you guys, you know, then you look back at, at six months of craziness and you're like, wow, I'm starting fresh, you know, and you don't, a bunch of us, a bunch of us girls were talking about that last night, you know, and how you can make great progress and then, you know, whatever happens in all of our lives and it can just kind of take your focus away and a week becomes a month and a month becomes a, you know, a couple months and then you're, you're back at it. You've really got to make it a lifestyle, make it a focus and whatever it is that works for you. If it's intuitive eating and that works, it's great. If it's counting calories and keeping a food journal, like I'm back to doing now, um, and keeping a workout journal so that you have a visual reminder of what works. I mean, for me, that really works. It keeps me on track mentally, and um, I mean, mentally is the big game, people. You know, it just does. Um, when I don't keep track for whatever reason, and some people weigh themselves every day. I don't weigh myself, but. <laughs> I don't weigh myself, but I measure myself, and I I now go by how my clothes fit. Uh, but you've got to keep track of that because it's so that stuff, you know, weight or whatever, it can creep on. And you know, if you go through a bad period where you're not working out to the intensity that you used to, you know, then you let it slide, and you got to get your mojo back. I've got mine back, and I'm ready to go. But I'm very very annoyed um, with you know where I'm starting from. That being said, you know what's done is done. My biggest lesson, and we were talking about this last night that I've learned and, and I try to keep just reminding myself of this phrase because it's just, it's so simple but it's so true. You just, you can't cry over sp spilled milk. Is that the right way to say it? You just can't cry over spilled milk. I mean, and when you think about that, it, it's so simple but it's true. I mean, if you have spilled milk, whatever that spilled milk is in your life, if it's, oh, I haven't been doing good on my diet, I haven't been doing good on my, um, my workouts, or you know, I've done this at work, or, or if it's a relationship, or, or whatever. If it's broken, um, if things haven't worked, if you're disappointed, whatever it is that's bad, stop trying to look at the spilled milk and figure out why it happened, you know, figure out how it happened, figure out how you can prevent it in the future, whatever. You could just get lost in the moment. Clean up the milk, forget about it, move on and get a new carton. I mean, and that's what you gotta do. I've spent too much time in, in the past years, um, you know, my divorce, for example, sitting around going, why did this happen? I don't understand, and, you know, trying to get closure and whatever. And inevitably, you know, I finally came to the point where you're like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, I can, I can have a reason for it. it doesn't doesn't change what happened. 
So, you know, again, I can sit here and beat myself up over the fact that I wanted to meet my goals by the end of last year. And here it is the summer, and I'm kind of starting. I'm really kind of starting over and starting fresh. Get over it, okay? Quit talking about it, quit whining about it, Kelly. Shut up and just move on. And that's what I'm doing. I'm moving on, I'm kicking butt now, and I know I'm not gonna stop. And I'm also, I've made the changes that I need to so that I'm going to have success going forward. The changes that I kind of had let, let go of. Um, so, just a little theory, just a little saying that you can use to get you through your day. All about it, sharing the love with you. Anyway, I need to, mm, I love this song. Um, I need to take a little nap because I'm tired. Um, but the other thing I did want to tell you guys about the party, there was junk food galore and party food galore, which is some of my favorite, like, nibbly stuff. You know, there was this, Linda brought her, uh, really awesome, it's like a spicy artichoke dip. I love dips. Whoever invented dips, I hate you. Um, she brought this really good artichoke dip. My other friend brought a Reuben dip. People, Reubens are like my favorite thing in the world, almost. But I actually like it with turkey as opposed to corned beef. I digress. Um, we had those real soft sugar cookies with the frosting on them, and then these obscenely good M&M um, cookies from Jewel. And um, are you getting a picture here? Okay, and then we had the boneless buffalo wings from Chili's, which are one of my favorite things in the world. Um, plus we had all the alcohol, whatever. We had cheese and crackers, what? I mean, and I really did good because before the party started, <laughs> when no one could see me, but I'm being honest, I had one of those, I had like one and a half of those sugar cookies. And of course I wanted to eat like the entire thing, but I'm like, you know what? This is all you need. You're having one, and if you have more, Kelly, you're going to get sick. And I will, I, I will get a total stomach ache from it. So I had about one and a half of those. I put the rest out, didn't touch them the rest of the night. Um, I think I had maybe two chicken wings, um, boneless wings. Um, and that's the only time I really eat poultry. I told you guys I'm not into poultry and pork anymore. Um, and really that's it. I think that's really all I had. I think I might've had one little bite of, of the um, dip, but, and then I had my wine for the rest of the night. So, I mean, obviously the wine was, was calories and the calories that I had were not great calories, but I did good. I didn't just nosh on that stuff all night. And then what I do, <laughs> guys, my parties are gold mine at the end because whatever's left, I'm like, take it, get it out of the house. So the chips, the cookies, whatever, the buffalo wings, and people are like, I'll just take a few. And I'm like, take it all, take it all. It's my gift to you. So anyway, it's all gone. Um, my house is all clean and uh, that's it. Mr. Renee is coming over um, for a well-needed massage. And uh, I think we're, I don't know if we're going to a movie or we're going out tonight or, or what we're doing and then um, whatnot. So I have to uh, take a little nap and um, that's it. I'm sorry, I, th I had a thought that I wanted to share and it just <laughs> up here today and not a lot going on. Anyway, so um, I will see you guys later and I will tell you what workout I do because I am going to do a workout before Renee comes over. Um, what is today? Is today, ugh, today I'll probably do cardio. Biometrics. We were all talking about P90X too and Insanity. Krissa, so excited to get it. You, I think you and I are going to get it on the same day. So um, I'm really, really excited about that. I told you guys, the whole P90X, the, that, those two cardios that I have tried from P90X are so awesome. And I love the kickboxing ones I shared with you. That's not P90X. Um, I just love so, these new workouts. And, and thank you guys too for, for writing your comments about uh, mixing it up. I really do. I kind of like that idea of mixing all of this stuff up as opposed to just you know, going and saying I'm doing P90X and only P90X, I really like the idea that whenever I go do my workouts, it's like, what do I want to do today? You know, I get to pick. So it makes it fun. And I also like, you know, just the whole idea of, of you know, changing it up all the time. It's good for our mind and, I, and obviously it's good for the body too. So that's it. I have like no voice left. I have absolutely no strength left at this moment. I mean, the biceps are still there, but it's just like, and then this music is kind of making me want to go into a coma. Isn't that funny? I know someone who's in a coma right now. Um, <laughs> sorry. You guys have a good rest of the day. And uh, I will talk to you soon. And uh, that's it. Be good. Have a good night. That's it. I have nothing else to say. What? What do you want? <laughs>